Three candidates with one single message. It's time for change. They want a spot on the Black Force Fire Board. They accuse the board of wasting $50,000 on an investigation and ignoring the people. An investigator hired by the board found no wrongdoing in how Chief Bob Harvey handled the fire. That investigation was prompted by Cardio News Channel 13 reports on Harvey's decisions. Reporter Emily Allen spoke with the candidates tonight and board members who want to keep their seat. James and Heather, candidates' motivation is to make a difference. Three spots are up for grabs, and so far, nine people have announced that they are running for the election in May. They stood beside each other fighting flames. Now, Jamie McConnellog, Rick Nearhoof, and PJ Langmaid want to team up again on the Black Forest Fire Board. I want this community to feel heard. McConnellog and Langmaid live in Black Forest and work for the Colorado Springs Fire Department. There has been a gross misuse of funds and practices that have not fallen in line with the spirit of transparency. The three of us intend on restoring faith and service to the fire board and consequently to the fire administration. Nearhoof retired from CSFD shortly after the Black Forest fire. I've seen too many mistakes from the majority of the board and its leadership. And I will try to make the board and leadership accountable to the citizens. El Paso County Commissioner Daryl Glenn backs all three candidates. So does Rick McMorrin, who currently sits on the fire board. There are a lot of things I've been disappointed with lately, um, particularly communications with the citizens that we're supposed to represent. Board member Walter Seeley is running for re election. He's focused on moving forward. How are we going to uh, establish a really good? professional working relationship with the sheriff's department and with the other departments around. And this is a, a concern right now. And so we're going to be working on that. Come May, it will be up to the people to decide who they want to be their voice on the board. Board member Preston Cooper is also running. He wasn't available for a camera interview tonight, but he says he tells me he's excited to see so many neighbors willing to step up and make a difference. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cario, News Channel 13.